Hello, everybody. We are in a new location. Um, it's the holidays, and so, of course, I'm out of town. But I knew I had to make a video because we've worked all year towards this. Um, we've had a long, you know, college football season to the two most important games, you know, Sugar Bowl and the Rose Bowl. Then it all comes down to one, the national championship. And so, of course, I got to make a video and give my prediction on who I think could win out of Alabama versus Michigan. It didn't matter if Michigan was ranked number one, two, three, whatever Alabama was ranked. This is Michigan's to lose. And I think this is Michigan's to lose and choke away because they're undefeated Big Ten champs. They got all the science stealing allegations against them. Harbaugh has set out six games. They've had that mentality of Michigan versus everybody. Well, now you have the chance to go play Alabama. So it's like, how do they perform? And I say it's theirs to choke away because if you just look at, just look at the history of how Michigan has performed in the college playoff. I mean, in the Orange Bowl against Georgia, they just got outmanned and outplayed. Kirby Smart had them on lock. And then last year, turnovers by McCarthy were the key reason in why TCU ended up winning that ball game. Um, they gave TCU too much of a lead that they couldn't catch up. Even though they made that late surge, it still wasn't enough. It's gonna be a close game, but I think that if Alabama does pull away there, if they don't keep the lead close, it's going to get out of hand and it's going to get ugly fast because Nick Saban knows how to do that. McCarthy versus Milrow, I think the easy pick would be Milrow because we've seen Milrow win games on his legs. We've seen him win it with his arm. And so I would trust if this does turn into a dogfight for Alabama to win because they've been in these kind of games. They've been in, you know, the tight game against Southern Florida, the tight game against Texas, the tight game against Auburn. You know, the SEC championship game was close. Now, um, with stopping McCarthy, like if Alabama turns this more into a run-oriented game where they can't stop Corm and Corm runs all over the Alabama defense, then I think this game could be close because, I mean, Blake corm has been a workhorse for Michigan the whole year. And so I think he'll probably have one or two touchdowns in this game to keep it close. But if Alabama's defense can make them one-dimensional, and make them pass and have McCarthy's arm be the reason why they win. Oh man, this could get ugly. But again, we'll have to see the game needs to be played. I do think this will be close in the first half, like 10-13, maybe 13-14. Um, but then in the second half, I was joking with my buddy when I was like, okay, who do you have winning out of Texas Washington and the Rose Bowl? Then he gave me his picks and I was like, okay, watch. Just like Alabama gets the ball in the second half to start it. Milrow goes down, they score a touchdown, whether, you know, running or they give it to Bond. And then it's McCarthy's turn. Second down, third down, whatever. McCarthy gets a terrible read or something, tries to force the ball, pick six to the house, and then Alabama goes up by 14 plus. And like we just laughed about it because it's like you can visualize and you can hear, you know, Chris Fowler on the call just losing his mind as, you know, Alabama takes a... 50 or 60 yard pick six to the house. I think Alabama is better coached. It's not smart to bet against Nick Saban. It's not smart to bet against Alabama. I mean, we're all, we're all gonna find out. Like we've seen the fun stats where it's like, okay, this is all the team's playoff wins and playoff appearances. Like Alabama's been here before and it doesn't matter who they're playing. So I would not be shocked at all if this game turns ugly really quick and the lead is too big and too grand for Michigan to try to catch up. Not enough time, the lead got too big, and they do score touchdowns, but it's too little too late, and they can't stop the run, and Alabama is, just runs out the clock and ends up moving on to the national championship. So that's why I have winning. Give me Bama 38-20.